How's it going, guys? HJ here, and we're back for another Feature Friday. This video will be a paint review with Hey Period Custom. So Elena from Montreal, she's going to give us her opinion on Angelus versus Alpha Flex. And is it any good? We'll see. So I know that a lot of videos, they'll make you watch the entire 15, 20 minutes to figure out, hey, is it good or not? But guess what? We're not going to do that to you. And these 10 points are on her Instagram. Again, her name is Elena on Hey Period Customs on Instagram. Starting with number one, it is super opaque and has great coverage. Their white paint can easily cover a black background with just one stroke where you need four layers of Angelus. You might be fine with one to two layers of Alpha Flex, which will save you time. It is more thick like my thighs. It may be a bit hard to draw tiny lines with thick paint. You may need to use a paint thinner or a bit of water. And I will add that Alpha Flex does have a paint reducer if you want to thin it. So she says, again, this is in my experience. Maybe you have a better hand and will have no such issues. I have heard this before that it is a lot thicker. Number three, it dries fast, which is a good quality when you need to paint it on a shoe, but it may be a challenge when you blend it or if you are mixing colors. As you mix it, it dries. Thinner is what you need. Number four, very matte. In comparison to Angelus, it looks a lot more matte. You get a beautiful matte look without having to add any duller to it. Number five, I love their rattle bottle with small metal beads inside of it. It helps to keep the paint from drying and prevents the collection of paint by the wall of the jar. So that's something that Angelus definitely misses. Number six, the bottle's tiny nostril helps to prevent paint loss and allows you to dose the amount of paint very precisely. Again, less of a waste. Number seven, price is pretty much the same with Angelus if you compare price per one ounce bottle. Remember, Alpha Flex bottles are bigger. But don't forget that you will use much less Alpha Flex paint since their coverage is really good. And then number eight and nine, I believe, pretty much pertain to any place outside of the USA. So this definitely pertains to Canadians, um, but here it says number eight, availability might be a problem for some areas at the moment. Number nine, for the Canadian market, there are a few distributors already. So Instagram at Toronto Collective is about to receive it. And then she's also spoke to at soulclean.ca. They're going to look into it as well. Number 10, I have definitely noticed the same thing. Alpha 6 Corporation is incredibly supportive of their customers. From providing supplies to distributors answering questions promptly, and last but not least, sharing your work on Instagram, 20 posts daily with beautiful work from all different types of artists. 100% agree with this last statement here. Alpha 6 Corporation definitely reciprocates the love back to all the customers by featuring them, by advertising them on their Instagram. But which one does she prefer in the end? Both. I love both and use both. So she just pulled a Hannah Montana. She has the best of both worlds. And I definitely think Alpha Flex will start taking the market very quickly. It has all the potential. Watch. This part right here is key. So she says, this post is not sponsored by anyone. She says, I paid out of my own pocket for all of my paint supplies. She strives only to provide honest opinions based on her work and experience with it. So I do have both of the paints linked below that if you guys are interested in purchasing, go for it. No pressure either way. I really think it's important for you to test out different paints and see which ones you like the best. Chances are you're going to like to have a few brands of paint in your bag of tricks. And now for the main video, stick around and watch. She even does a paint comparison where you can see it on leather, just how it compares to each other. Hi there. We're gonna be talking about Alpha Flex paint and pretty much my experience with it and how I find it. I only tried the Alpha Flex and the Angelus. Those are the two paints that I've tried and um, compared in, in some way. Uh, anyway, Alpha Flex is a new paint uh, on the le leather market, and um, uh, when it came out, I think it was about a few months ago, 
I went on their website uh, and looked uh, like what, what kind of company it is, right? And basically what caught my attention was uh, the fact that they use this paint on cars, on bicycle, on, on bikes, and um, um, it's quite widely used. So um, I think initially their company made the paint for, you know, these kind of decorations. I think it's called paint striping or paint stripping, you know, something like that. You, you probably saw that on their website. Um, in um, this is basically applying one coat of paint with a specific brush and creating the design so that made me think that this paint must be really really good in terms of uh, you know bringing the color and staying on anyway so I decided to order it right away and uh, try it uh, back then there was no pretty there was only a few distributors in Canada so I got it directly from um, Alpha um, corporation uh, direct shipping from uh, us which i think now is not available anyway so i started using it and um i find it was um i find it was amazing obviously the the qualities that everyone is talking about about this paint are there and they are amazing and the main quality is the is this paint is has crazy good coverage very opaque and uh, you are able to achieve the, the color that you need in practically one or two layers so I made a little uh, thing here, I don't know if you can see, this is the Alpha Flex one layer, this is the Angelus one layer, and you can see how different, how more transparent Angelus is, and how good the Nopak is Alpha Flex. And this is two coats, this is two coats. So um, again, Angelus is still slightly transparent, you still <clears throat> don't get a good coverage, and the Alpha Flex is very well covered the whole surface. So these are just uh, trials with the um, uh, with the finisher. I use the liquid uh, kick. So just to show you, um, I know some people were saying that uh, you know paint comes off. It doesn't really come off. Look how hard I'm rubbing with my nail, and nothing comes off. So basically, that's the the situation. Yes, it is very opaque, but at the same time, the paint is very thick. So, and that create um, a little bit of a problem because uh, the paint, obviously, more thick it is, more brittle it is, and um, easier it is to be damaged on the shoe. Um, the other quality of this paint, which was not very good to me, it's um, how um, easy and fast this paint is to dry. Basically, it dries oh, pretty much instantly which is good sometimes when you apply it on the shoe it's pretty much dry right away and you can go ahead with another coat but if you are talking about mixing the paint or doing the blending on the shoe uh, you must use the too thin because um, there is obviously it's just going to start being very um, thick and you won't be able to get any good blending out of it um, so those are the i think the main um, the main big qualities let me just have a quick look um, mm, 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 mm. the other difference of this paint from Angelus it is much more um, matte mate like um, it's not as glossy so if you see over here I'm gonna try to show you see again this one is two coats of uh, flex and this one is Angelus no uh, finisher on it and this is how matte this paint is and this is how Angelus is in terms of like somebody was asking durability flexibility they're pretty much equal especially if we talk about um if you have if you take a piece that is covered with the finisher they're pretty much um, very very good both of them so i wouldn't say that in durability there are different but you're gonna have to try and see it yourself um so these are the main things i believe these paints are still to be used with the special additives if uh, we're talking about the uh, fabrics um, because uh, on the Alpha Flex um, uh, account and the website there is uh, the series of additives are listed there uh, however um, when I asked them directly do we need to use like the too soft or something in the on the fabric they said that um, it's um, it's it's recommended to use base coat or primer which I believe is um, is the same as pretty much using the paint with the too soft or the uh, the Gagman 100. 
So this is the answer for the um, for the fabrics or use of additives. Uh, they also sell their top coats, but I haven't tried those, so I can't really say anything. Um, the package is very different uh, from the Angelus. These are come in um, one, uh, I think it's a 30 ml jar, and this one come in a 70 ml jar. Um, this jar has um, a very good, uh, it's a very different here. Remember, you have the brush that is um, attached to the cap. And it's, I find it still quite handy because you can use a small little bit of paint that you need. You don't have to uh, do a drop. Uh, but at the same time, it always gets dirty around and you do lose paint just by um, messing with the cup. In the um, Alpha Flex, you have this kind of nostril here and you can easily drop yourself one little drop or you can just open it up and get with a brush, you know, if you need just a tiny little bit, let's say if you need a tiny little bit of a black. So that's also doable. I find the waste of the paint is a little bit less with these jars. So the other good thing about this is they have a little metal bead inside. So it's like a rattle, um, it's like a rattle bottle. So when you shake it, the metal bead goes all over the, the, the little bottle and scrape the paint off. So you don't really get the paint stuck at the sides like you, does, you do um, with the Angelus jars. Uh, you might still need the too thin, obviously, when your paint gets old, but overall I find these jars are very good. Um, so the other thing I wanted to say that these, uh, the colors, I know some of you have Angelus and they think of getting the uh, Alpha Flex. So the, the colors are slightly different. Let's say this is the yellow. So the Alpha is a little bit lighter and the Angelus is just a little bit darker. So, you know, technically they're very, very close, but again, if you go for different kinds of shapes, they're a little bit different. You see here? Not much, but this is a little bit lighter and this is a little bit darker. And the same in the in the other series, like let's say in orange, the same thing you have. You see one is a little more yellow, the other one is more like on the red side. So uh, you can definitely get a different set of paint, like Alpha and Addition, and use them as addition to your Angelus. I do mix them sometimes uh, if I need to get a specific shade of the color. I mix them and I have no problems uh, with getting the, the paint and the quality of it because they're both acrylic water-based color uh, paints and there should be no issue. On the Flex bottles, they even say can be mixed with other paints and so on. Uh, somebody was asking, was asked, I hope she's gonna watch this, uh, what about the um, uh, metallic colors? I only have silver and gold. Um, and I can tell you that, uh, the, again, the coverage on the flex is so much better. Like you can see that this is flex and you can see them very well. And the Angelus, this is one coat. You barely see them, which again, in one way is a good thing, but in the other way, this, this coat is slightly thicker itself than this. And I haven't really tried to, uh, remove and see how the paint penetrates leather because um, if you have tried in your you know experience to remove angelus from the leather you see sometimes that some of it just doesn't come off because it actually penetrates the leather and stays in it and that's how you you know get the the paint on the shoe um, um with the um, alpha flex i am again i'm not sure how it is but you can see regardless the fact that it's a you know it's a thicker paint it's really, really hard to get off with your nail. And I actually have a medical scalpel to try to show you how it works. And it's pretty much an impossible thing to remove. This is this one has no um, um, finisher on, so I'm pretty much scraping with a medical scalpel and nothing comes out, uh, comes off. So it is, it is a very good paint and it does stay very well. Um, you know, honestly, go for it, try it. But like I said, I think the, the main issue to me is the how fast it dries on the surface. So uh, price-wise, uh, for many, I mean, just because Angelus is so widely available, you can easily get um, even at an Amazon, you know, with great discount and a, a great price. Um, in terms of Alpha Flex, I guess for US people, it's still quite uh, the same thing because shipping might be pretty much free or almost free if you order a decent amount. Um, unfortunately for other places, even like here in Canada, we have hard time getting it. 
Mm, I have spoken to a few distributors like Toronto Collective. They are getting it and they're going to have it in a few days actually. So hoping we'll be able to get it in the Canadian market. Um, and other distributors, they, they mostly have not Alpha Flex, but Alpha Enamel. And uh, they're getting it, they're getting it, but it's going to take them some time because, um, because you know, it's, it's a new thing. So I, I got it directly from um, the Alpha Corporation and they were very nice to send it. But back then there was no, dis no distributors at all. So if you are from Canada or other places, uh, other than US places, you have to really look at what is a distributor for your paint and contact them. Alpha is trying to respect their distributors because um, it's just a contract. So, uh, however, if you are unable to get the stuff with distributor, contact Alpha and they will help you out. That's for sure. Uh, they're very, very nice and very supportive. Um, that's another thing I wanted to talk about uh, this company, that they're very, very nice in terms of marketing and supporting the clients with their work. I know Angelus does it too and they post all these posts on their account, but Angelus does like, you know, three, four posts a day. On the other side, Alpha does like 20 posts a day and trying to respect as many artists as they can, which is very nice of them. I think it's really um, deserves some attention. Um, so I think that's mainly it. Um, so if you have any questions or you have, you know, whatever is uh, I haven't mentioned, um, you can obviously, you know, uh, ask me in direct messages. It was very nice seeing you, some of you here. Um, and that's it. Like I said, if you have any questions about Alphaflex, uh, just DM me. Alrighty, I guess that's it. Well, bye everyone who came and um, who watched me talking. Bye. Here she is again, just scratching the paint, rubbing the paint, trying to see if it will come off. And if you watch this video completely, the paint does not move. So both Angelus and Alphaflex seem really well. It just depends on what you are going for, what works best for your customs and your preference. If you found this video helpful and you want to see more videos, please drop a comment down below. If you have questions, you can check the description box. If it's not there, go ahead, comment below. What do you guys want to see next? Thanks so much for watching. Check out Hey Period Customs on Instagram. And if this was helpful, like and subscribe. Comment what you guys would like to see next. Happy creating.